Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on today's show, Aston Martin has another special edition version of the DB11 Superleggera. This vehicle harkening back to a movie 50 years ago in 1969, the James Vaughn film. And this vehicle will be known as the OHMSS edition which is a mouthful, but that James Bond film was known as On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And that's the Aston Martin in the background, which was actually in the film. And that's what this new special edition, DB11 Superleggera, is going to be all about. Bespoke wheels hearkening back to those wire wheel days, along with tons of OHMSS badging on the interior, exterior of the machine, Black leather interior with red contrast stitching, and all 50 units of these vehicles will be covered in this olive green paint. This vehicle will be available to the masses. All 50 units will be available in Q4 of 2019, so in the back part of this year, with a starting price of just a little over 300,000 pounds sterling. Next up on the list, well, the front-wheel drive lap record is hot and heavy around the Nürburgring Norschleife circuit. And we've got a new leader in the clubhouse. The folks over at Renault Sport have snatched away the quickest lap in their brand new Magan RS trophy in the hands of Laurent Hergon, who actually lapped the Nürburgring Norschleife circuit in just 7 minutes, 40 Point one zero zero seconds, snatching away from the folks over at Honda and the new Civic Type R. That vehicle did it a lap at seven minutes forty three point eight seconds. Now the Magan RS and the Civic Type R are very close in numbers, at least in some of them. In fact, the torque numbers are identical at two hundred ninety five foot pounds, but the Magan is actually fourteen horsepower less on the old chart, it had 292 horsepower, but the weight is really where it comes in. The Magan RS Trophy is 335 pounds less weight on this particular machine at coming in at just 2,815 pounds. Now, this front wheel drive lap breaker is pretty hot and heavy. You got Honda in second and Volkswagen in third. And I'm assuming they're rapidly putting their upgrades and updates on their machines to try to snatch back this Nurburgring lap record. So we should know more in the next several months, maybe, to about this time next year. We may see a new lap record holder. So pretty hot and heavy over at the Norschleife Lube circuit. And speaking of that particular circuit, sad news at the end of the old show. 70-year-old Nicky Lauda has left us. On May 20th of 2019, he passed away. He's had quite a bit of health issues over the past several years, but has really stood strong as he has his entire life. Mr. Lauda had a fantastic Formula One career. 25 victories, but what a fantastic amount of consistencies. Three-time world champion. Should have been four times, but three world champions, 1974, 1977, and 1984, he was crowned world champ. The Austrian, um, maybe most famously known for the movie Rush, that kind of harkened back to that old days with that big rivalry between him and James Hunt, where he probably should have become a four-time champion, but most known for that Norschleife Loop circuit crash, which doggone near killed him way back in the day where he had severe burns and breathed in a lot of dangerous fume. How he stuck around was impressive. How he came back later in that season was even more hugely impressive. In fact, going back to that film, Ron Howard and the actor that portrayed Mr. Lauda really did a lot of homework to try to just see just exactly how Mr. Lauda was back in the day and all the way up. But Mr. Lauda was actually very surprised at the end of his first showing of that film where he turned to his wife and said, am I really like that? And she goes, yeah, that's exactly how you actually were. He was so driven, so focused. He just couldn't see how he was kind of maybe taking his family and friends for granted and definitely how what he put them through over the past several years. But I have to say, never was the biggest fan of Mr. Lauda. But I tell you what, when I found this photograph, it sure does make my heart smile to see this particular photograph in a little bit of a goofy moment. 
sad to hear the passing of Mr. Lauda and obviously going into the crown jewel in the Formula One Circus's calendar at the Monaco Grand Prix. There's going to be tons of fantastic tributes to the man. Really sad to see him go. Again, Nicky Lauda gone from this world in the age of 70. So our prayers go out to his family and his friends. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs in the brand new show as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.